Welcome to Crash Magic. In this video, we've got a quick card trick that I hope you enjoy. It's also really easy to learn and perform, so if you do like it, there's a tutorial immediately after the performance showing exactly how it's done. Nowadays, we need passwords for everything, from logging onto our computers, to online shopping, to our mobile phones. And it's not even as if you can use the same password for everything. For one, different things have different restrictions on how your password is made up, and two, it's not secure to just use one password for everything. If we think of this pack of cards as all the possible characters we could use in a password, then to get a random password, the first thing to do is mix these cards, and if you were here you could shuffle these cards as much as you liked. And once that's done, we're then going to deal these cards into nine different piles. So that will then give ourselves nine different possible passwords containing randomized characters. I'm even going to deal these cards in random orders as well. The only thing with dealing the cards like this into piles though is that all our possible passwords are going to be exactly the same length, which is never a good idea. So with these last few cards that we've got left now, let me just straighten these piles up. With these last few cards we've got, you could, if you were here, choose to add some more cards to any of the piles. So let's just do that randomly and maybe add one to this pile here, maybe two extra to this one, maybe three on this one and then one on this one. And now I want you to choose one of these passwords but before we do let's just mix the piles up. Okay you can now choose any of these passwords. This is an absolutely free choice so let's just say for example you choose this pile here. We'll gather all the rest of the piles up and we can discard those because we don't need them. So with this pile that you've chosen we now want to randomize the order of the characters in this password. So again if you were here I'd ask you to mix these cards up and it's always a good idea to have a key character, one character we can use to help us remember what our password is. So if you take out and look at and remember the card here on the bottom you got it and now we're going to lose this card by moving one card from the top to the bottom for each letter of the word password P A S S W O R D and remember these piles all had different amounts of cards in so depending on which pile you had picked and how many cards that pile had had in it your key card would now be in a different position so one last thing we haven't considered for our password is upper and lower case characters to make it more secure. So if we alternate our characters to be upper and lower all the way through our password until we're left holding just one card and hopefully so we can remember our password this will be our key character and our key card. That then was the trick, and if you want to see how it's done, this is the tutorial. You can of course come up with your own story for the trick, but the great thing with this one is it's totally impromptu, totally self-working, and there's no clever slights or card handling skills needed. So to start, you can have a spectator shuffle the cards, and for this trick to work, you need a pile of cards that has from four to eight cards in it. So as you saw in my performance, I dealt nine piles of cards. So that means each pile of cards had five cards in it and had seven cards left over. So then you can ask a spectator to add from one to three of these cards to any of the piles. So that in, in that way, every pile of cards then either has five, six, seven or eight cards in it. The spectator can then choose any of these piles and we can discard the rest. After a mix, you can then ask your spectator to remember the bottom card of the pile they've chosen. Now you ask them to move cards from top to bottom for each letter of the word password. 
Of course, any eight letter word will work to fit the storyline that you've come up with for this trick. So you could maybe use words like uh, magician or Hogwarts. And finally, you ask your spectator to do an Australian or a down under deal. So the first card goes down, the next card goes under, and so on until they're left holding just one card. It's really important to emphasize at some point during this mixing of the cards that they had free choice of any pile and that the piles had different amounts of cards in them. And finally they can then turn over their card and be amazed to see that it's the card that they remembered. Well that's the end of this video and I hope you liked that one. If you did please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments leave them down below and see you soon.